From the Atlantic to the Pacific, from the Great Lakes to the Gulf of Mexico, rising water temperatures and more frequent heat waves change what's found under the surface. Climate change is causing species migrations, transforming fishing businesses, offshore recreation, and even restaurant menus. Off the Atlantic coast, black sea bass are moving north due to warming waters. This benefits New Jersey's expanding fishing industry, but harms North Carolina's. In the Gulf of Mexico, warm waters are stressing the oyster and coral populations, as well as allowing tropical fish like snook to come this far north. The Great Lakes are also affected. Reduced ice cover causes whitefish to hatch earlier, making them vulnerable to predators, while invasive mussels deplete their food supply. In Oregon, the loss of kelp forest has led to a drop in commercial Red Sea urchin harvest, a decline in recreational fishing, and the disappearance of red abalone snails. The kelp forest, once the backbone of Oregon's offshore ecosystems, have declined by by two thirds since 2010. By most measures, 2023 was the hottest year on record. Global surface temperatures rose higher above historical averages than ever before. Many areas are expected to continue breaking heat records in 2024. Marine heat waves have already impacted food supplies. Researchers in Alabama's Gulf Coast found oyster reproduction plummets during long lasting marine heat waves. Off the coast of Oregon, bull kelp creates a refuge, sustaining a chain of wildlife like coral does. Researchers and nonprofits are now replanting kelp and reintroducing sunflower sea stars to combat the explosion of purple sea urchins, which have devastated kelp forests due to predator loss. While scientists study climate change's impact on marine ecosystems, local communities and industries are already feeling the effects.